So whenever you see the little M, that means measure, which means the degrees of an angle. So the degrees of angle EFG is 130. They gave that to us. What angle is EFG here? Right, it's the big one. In other words, it's from here all the way to here is 130 degrees. That's what they're giving us right here. It's that statement. And our mission, Rodriguez, is to find angle HFG. Let me highlight that puppy in red. Watch. HFG is this angle. How big is that angle? That's the question here. That's what they want us to find. Find the measure of that angle. One more time. 44. Ivanovich says this is 44 degrees. Ivanovich, can you please share your logic there that it's 44? How do you know it's 44? Okay. So Ivanovich is saying, look, if all this angle is 130 degrees, the big one, let's subtract the one we know that's 86 degrees. Let's subtract 86 from 130, and you're going to get what's left over, namely the red angle, angle HFG. Perfect logic. 130, that's this angle, minus this angle is going to give us this angle. So that becomes 44 degrees, or the 34. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Questions? That's pretty logical. Second example. Any questions? Example two. This one might scare you and give you nightmares, but it's going to be okay. Thank you. This is actually the last example of the day. You may. Last example. Look at this angle. They're saying this angle is actually 3x minus 8 degrees. What the heck? They're bringing variables into these angles now. That's scary. And look at this angle over here, angle QRS, this angle here, is 2x plus 6 degrees. What are we going to do, Rodriguez? We're going to find... We're going to what? We're going to find it. Soto's absolutely right. How are we going to do that, though, is the question. How the heck, how are we going to solve for X, though? You sure? Should I offer an extra stamp? Hit it. Tanto? So you're saying, take, add this angle and this angle, and do what? All right, so let me do that. Let me, let's see, let's see. Sona's on to something. So he's, Sona's saying, look, add this angle with this angle, add them up. Let me see. This angle, which is angle PRQ, so angle PRQ is 3x minus 8. You're saying add it with angle QRS, right, Mr. Sona? We're adding polynomials. Uh, that's the week. Wait, wait. That's, that's semester one. Well, let's see. Um, how do I add these? 3x plus 2x. Hit it, Soto. 5x. Should I cross these out? 
Nice. Negative 8 plus x is minus 2. Okay. I added the angles up. I got 5x minus 2. Now what? Divide by what? Divide by 5. Divide the whole thing by 5 like that? I don't have an equation though. I only do stuff to both sides if I have an equation. This is just an expression. This is 5x minus 2. You're right, I agree. It doesn't make any sense. I got you, Franklin. Give me a second. It's just an expression. Wait, so wait, does that mean all the equal to each other? So you're saying this angle and this angle are the same? Yeah. By what logic? Uh, are you assuming that? Okay, Franco, what do you mean they equal 98? Okay, so you're saying what angles add up to be 98? How do you know? Oh, Franco's got this. QRS, right? Sure, so we're finding angle QRS, this angle. What is this angle is the question. In total, both of the angles equal 98. How do you know that? Because it is. Oh, I, I, got, I got you. Go ahead. How do you know this angle and this angle equal 98? What's your argument, please? It says measure angle QRS equals 98. Oh, okay, good. Good argument. Look at it. PRS, that's from here all the way to over here, is equal to 98. The whole shebang, both angles equal 98. That's what's given. They gave that to us. Good argument. So, now what? Uh, if that then the equation, I'll just feel like 5x minus 2 now equals 98, and then you get. Ah. Look at Soto's initial game plan of. This plus this, we just did that. Look, it's 5x minus 2. But this plus this equals 98. So let me make this expression into a fraction. Check this or into any. So 5x minus 2, I'll make it into an equation. 5x minus 2 equals 98. Now we can start doing stuff to both sides to get x by itself, huh? But it won't work if it's if it does if it does equal ninety eight, then it's not gonna be how you make the difference. Because now we have the equation, the full equation. You got the ninety eight, so now you get that one and seven. You're gonna add the two to the hundred. To both sides? Alright, let's see. Let's add two to both sides. Hold up, Yonovich. Hold the thought. So let's add two to both sides. So this is gone. So I have five x equals hundred. Now what, Soto? Both sides. Now what do we have now? Look at x equals what? Now what? What do we do? Plug it where? Why don't have to plug my way? Watch this. What's the mission? You told me the mission a little while ago when you cussed. <laughs> One more time. Man, Soto's on fire! Look at it! X is 20! Look at this! We want our mission to find the measure, that's the, the degrees, the measures, the degrees of QRS. QRS is the blue one. QRS is, you want it? It's 2X, 2 times X plus 6 degrees. We know what X is now. X is 20. So I'm going to go back into here and replace X with 20 and then multiply it out. We're ready to rock and roll. In other words, stay with me. The measure of angle QRS is equal to, they gave it to us, 2x plus 6 degrees. We know what x is, though. We just figured that out. Because we added both angles and made them equal to 98, and we've got x alone. x is 20. So now, I'm going to rewrite this now. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with 20. Careful. What's 2 times 20? 40. 40. 
40 plus 6. 46 what? Chickens? Thank you. So the measure of angle QRS is 46 degrees. Mission accomplished. A lot packed in there. Still don't get the extra stamp. And Franco. Franco got it going, so it'll finish it. Yeah, the great thing going on. Good work, good work. Um.